Hi YouTube. Okay, so this is going to be like a really quick um, re recap of um, my TTC story or journey or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, just to kind of get um, those of you that are new to my channel um, updated and or up to date and everyone else just updated. So, okay, let's see, where to begin? Um, back in December of 2010, I um, noticed that I wasn't getting um, regular cycles and um, I didn't really think too much of it. Uh, my husband and I were together then. Um, we were living together then, but we were not married. Yes, I know. Um, so I took a bunch of pregnancy tests thinking that maybe I was pregnant. Um, and like they, they all came up negative. And I took probably like three or four, probably four. Yeah, I think I took like four. And they were all negative, and I took them over like two to two months span. Um, and when I still wasn't getting uh, my cycle, I made an appointment with uh, my local uh, doctor and OB or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they ran a bunch of tests and took, like, it took a few visits um, for him to kind of, like, pinpoint, well, like, the first time he put me on, um, a few meds, and one of them was, um, oh my gosh, starts with a P. You ladies know what I'm talking about. It's, like, the number one med to get you to start. Um, why can't I think of it right now? Anyway, it'll come to me after I finish this video. <laughs> um, anyway, so it came and it was fine for about six months. Um, it came every month, but it was very, like, each month it was lighter and lighter. So I thought, like, I didn't think anything of it at first. Now looking back, I, you know, it's kind of should have been a sign, but yeah. So yeah, like six months went by and it was all normal and then it stopped again. Well, well it was getting lighter and lighter and I had it for a few months. Like, okay, so about for four to six months, it was like normal and then it started getting lighter and then probably like a year after I visited my doctor the first time, it stopped again. So I would say, yeah, we're like coming up the end of um, like 2011, the end of 2011 going into 2012, um, I knew that my husband and I wanted to start trying to have a baby as soon as we got married in September 2012. So come January of 2012, I was like, okay, like, this needs to get figured out. It's got to be more than just, like, my cycles being abnormal. Um, I really need to buckle down and figure out, like, what's going on with my body. So that is when I started to really investigate and really try to figure out what was going on. So um, I went back to my doctor, visited him a few times, he ran a bunch of blood work and then eventually referred me to a specialist about an hour away and visited her like every three months she would schedule me an appointment for like nine months and then like she would never tell me what exactly was wrong with me like she put me on metformin and cabergolin and she kept like switching up my doses dosages and like it was just really frustrating. Um, I knew from my local doctor that there was something something to do with my prolactin levels um, from my, like my pituitary, your pituitary gland is what produces prolactin levels and my prolactin levels were too high. Um, what that means is that my body or my brain was telling my body basically that I'm already pregnant so I wasn't ovulating. Well, 
my local doctor didn't specialize in that, so that's why he sent me to uh, my specialist that's an hour away. And after nine months, I finally like w was just like I I was fed up and I I just had it and I asked her what do I have like diagnose me with something so I like can know. Um, and then that's when she finally said, oh, well, you have PCOS. Like, it was no big deal. Like, she had already told me that. Like, I should know. Like, I should have known that I had that when she had never told me. So, yeah. And that was, let me see, hmm, probably, I don't know, probably like nine months ago. Uh, maybe, maybe a year ago. Oh, no, like nine or ten months ago. Mm, yeah. When that happened. And so, from there, she started prescribing me on a bunch of different, um, or she, like, switched my dosages around. That way she can get my levels normal. And when they were finally normal, she, um, prescribed some fertility meds. And... That was Clomid. Well, before I could start my first dose of Clomid, um, my husband lost his job very suddenly. And from there, financially, we kind of just went downhill. And I decided to never go through with that first dose of Clomid. And that's where we are today still. That was back in May of 2013. Um, well... My husband recently has got a very good job again, and our financial status is going back up, yay, and um, I am going to be seeing my doctor in a few weeks, and so that's where we are now, to get back on fertility meds and make sure that my levels are still normal and whatnot, and I haven't seen her in like six months because we couldn't afford to because I didn't have insurance, so... Yeah, we're going to get started again. And that is my TT story in a nutshell. And hopefully everybody is now up to date. So I will get back with y'all next week when, as to when I'm going to be seeing my doctor. And we'll go from there.